welcome back. We're celebrating another Meatless Monday, and we're so happy to have Kirsten Johnson here from Fresh Chef Detroit. We're making Sloppy Joes. All right, so as a veggie myself, people are always like, oh, what do you make them from, <laughs> right? And they right. don't think that they're going to be good or hearty, but we're using lentils. Yes, lentils are really high in protein, and they keep up kind of the same way that a meat would right, as far as hearty. making a Sloppy I mean, you Joe. Feel this. this is not, mm -hmm. it's different than tofu. Absolutely. Okay, so what's the first thing? We've got the crock pot, which I love. I was just telling you, a lot of people don't think to use your crock pot for veggie things. You can make all kinds of things in the crock pot. Sometimes I think it's almost easier because it's hard to overcook a vegetarian meal so in a crock pot. So this could not be easier. It's perfect for back to school. Um, really? Those moms, my goodness. My I know, my daughter just started <laughs> kindergarten and I know how crazy I know. it is. <laughs> all right, so what's the first thing here? Well, literally everything just goes in the crock pot. Oh, the the only thing you really have to chop are green pepper and onion. So we've got, if you want to help me kind yeah. of pour everything in there, we've got uh, veggie broth. Okay, so when I'm using my crock pot, I think the biggest tip I have is putting enough liquid in there. Like yes. way more than you would even imagine because right. it gets dry. And what's great about this too is you can always, if it seems to be a little dry, you can always easily add a little more liquid because you're not cooking meat or Exactly, something. right. So this is, you said veggie broth? Yep, and we've got crushed tomatoes, a 28 ounce can. Do you use a particular kind of veggie broth because a lot of people are used to using chicken stock and things of that nature? Sure. Well, I really like um, the organic Imagine brand and okay. then locally Zoop makes a great one yes, in a glass that. jar. That's so that's fantastic. good too, but really any veggie broth will do. All right, so I have those two in here. And we've got two cups of lentils. All right, what's the key with lentils? I don't usually cook with these very often. They're really easy to cook. If you, uh, there are a few different kinds. If you get red lentils, those break down and they might be something you find in a crushed lentil soup, but these kind of keep their shape. Okay, cool. So we've got green pepper. What's this one green pepper? About, yes. And it's about a cup, about a cup, cup and a half of onion, which again is about one medium onion. This is tomato paste and some parsley, oregano, a little bit of cayenne for heat, some paprika and chili powder. All right. And use that. And then, and then a little bit off. of sugar and a little bit of apple cider vinegar, which Ooh, the combination okay. of the apple cider vinegar and the sugar is what gives it a little more of a barbecue-y taste okay. instead of just a tomato taste. All right, so then do we and mix it or do we just set it and forget it? Yeah, oh. usually you mix it, make sure right. it's kind of all incorporated, you leave it. And through the magic of television, yes. we have, we have some here. Ready. And I know you do a new uh, article every month for Scene Magazine, is that correct? Yes, you can Tell find me. this on SceneTheMagazine.com. Every month I do a, a meatless recipe. I don't want to give you too fantastic. much there. I can't wait to have this. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for watching TV3.